Hazmax, you won't depart. I forgot. Six. <laughs> oh, no. On the last episode, uh, we... On the last episode, we cleared this whole courtyard and killed this familiar thing. Now I'm probably gonna have to kill, like, some witch or spirit demon or... Give me a good reason not to. Give me a real good reason. Fine. Alright. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Why is there a demon thing here? Wait, that was your familiar? Fuku, give me a good reason not to kill you. Fuku, give me a really good reason not to kill you. You're doing a terrible job. You're doing an awful job of protecting this area. There are yokai everywhere. Are you, is, is that a little thing you're familiar? You can. You got gestures. Sorry. I'm not sorry for crap! Okay, uh, I'll change. Disappointed. To. Sorry. Switch. Uh. Pawn, threaten, I'll change that to fray. Yeah, what ebbs, okay? You don't freaking tell me what to do. Okay? I'm not sorry for crap. That thing attacked me. You said it to attack me. Why the heck should I not just kill you right now? Oh, fine. I guess this is their way of teaching me. By the way, I'm wearing full archer garb now. Pretty cool. Fine. You good. Seriously, what's like stopping me from killing you? I said sorry. What is stopping me from killing you? Huh? You, you gonna say anything? You gonna say anything? Ah, the dude spirits and ah. Okay. Uh, without, without the ability to sense demons. Okay, you do an awful job. Uh, okay, whatever. So I guess you're fine, oddly clothed lady that I feel. Why would you have your hips show? That's weird. Like, why would you. Never mind. Never mind. It's not up to me to criticize people's clothes. That was on accident. Uh, is there anything else? <laughs> anything else I should know about? Anything else I should know about? I'm gonna take that as a solid no, but oh my goodness, I almost missed that little guy. Alright, what say you? Okay, yeah, weird lady with the weird... What's with your doofy hat and your weird clothes? Alright, fine, skirt. I don't need you. I don't need you to freaking tell me how to do my job. This place is terrifying, <laughs> and I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, it's, oh, it's a lever to get back. Okay, what? Screw. That's welcoming. Great. Now I I go from scary cave system. I go from one scary cave system if I could talk to another scary cave system. Let's get some more. Get some more skill. Skill up Yeah. Actually, could she teach me magic? Dude, could you actually wait no if I get to level eleven my thing upgrades. Yeah, let's um Yeah, next level goes to um Guardian Spirit as well. Holy crap, look how many there are! That's awesome! Alright, so Yeah, what F cat, okay. Uh it seems to be held shut by some power. Okay, so is this one of those, like, find the key things? A weird Fuku, who's got a really weird name that, you know, bridges on swearing, but I know isn't. I can find one that block. Okay, what is that? This is a trap. Okay. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? I oh, don't. Suck it. Oh. Oh, there we go, come on. 
this one's at that one's a lot stronger. I like that combo. So I got a combo that makes it so that um essentially you know how you go like this and then at the end of the combo I hit R2 to do that heavy slam. Well now on my low it's set up so when I do that combo it backs me out. Which is actually really nice. I really like that. Is that an air shooter? Oh I forgot. Show that bad boy on. Is that an air shooter? Get the dweller over there. That's definitely a button, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hop skip over it. And that thing Oh! 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 Oh yeah? You wanna go little guy? You wanna go? You wanna go? Back out. Like it doesn't it's a it's a bit less aggressive, but um considering how the point of low stance is that it's um a bit crazy in there? What was he saying? Like, do you think he was like crazy? Yeah, sure. Ah, I missed. Oh! Okay, I thought I was gonna be able to escape, and I was wrong. Oh yeah. <laughs> Suck it! I keep forgetting that I have the ability to just lower stamina like it's free. I love that move. It's so good. It's such a good move. All right. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, what's up, bro? What's up? It's one of you again. Yeah, you- Oh! Oh my oh! goodness! Oh, wait. That thing's got crazy power! And he's just like, what else? What's what I do? I guess I'm here. And he just wrecked me like it was nothing. Well, right, let's rush back. I got it back. But now I got this guy to worry about. He just okay, so I have to trick him into hitting up and down, do my combo, and then get out. Oh! Uh, oh! What hit me? What hit me? Oh, there's an archer up there. Son of a gun! I'm gonna. Mm. It's kind of use the water talisman on one dude. No, I want you to do that. It's lame. First thing first. Cause that guy I'm willing to predict moves really slow. Yep, he moves really slow. Cause he's a slow dude. Oh! <gasps> oh no, wrong one. Wrong one. I did it again. That's the problem with having sun menus. Alright, screw you. Okay. Okay. Okay, and there's all those statues everywhere, and you know for a fact that they're just gonna have them like hiding. And there's a Kodomo. There. Oh. That's a demon dude. I, I well, might as well use my shadow power. Or er, earth power rather. Wow, that did not do very much. You you do that, man. Oh, and oh, fuck. Let's just step out. Er, I wasn't sure what he was gonna do there. Oh, oh! Heal. Oh. <laughs> I kind of wish there was a button to like auto heal, or like you know, no matter what, this button is the healy button, you know. All right, just rush forward and wipe it out. All oh, good. Yeah. Oh, there's a Kadoma. I need you. All right, and let's see where that arrow goes. So the Kadoma, so that trap is literally to kill it uh, for you to screw yourself over while trying to get, get the Kadoma, if I could say what. Uh. And alright, all good, all good. Keep moving, keep moving. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Gotta see if we can find uh, checkpoints or secrets or yeah, anything like that. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh crap! Because I just loop back. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm cool with that. Alright, this. Oh no, 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 it's just like, uh. The doors. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. I want to see if I can spike my little thing a little bit. Spike my audio, if you will. Alright, so. Now, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm pretty sure Fuku got me killed. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Like, I'm just gonna starve down here. 
That's fine, because I'll kill everything in my path. What? Great. Well, I don't feel like getting near that thing, so... Headshot! Son of a gun's still alive. 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 Okay, there, got it. What was that thing? Oh, my weapon light's on fire from a little bit from hitting it. I think is what happened. I'm down. I'm like, I'm cool, but... Aw, oh, yes! Aw, oh, yes. Give me that. Aw, oh, heck yes. Uh, do I got enough to level up? I do! Now my spirit is at full power! I, I don't even know if my spirit does at full power, I just know it's at full power. <laughs> but that little makes me happy. Oh, That one. That one right there. That one. His armor is colored like ever so slightly different. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Cause you can't stop me from doing it. So, ha ha ha. Let me, stand, let me see if I can fake you. Yeah. Ooh, you moved a little faster there. Rock on. Alright. There's a weird little. Oh, it's a skeleton. Okay, I was gonna say there's a weird little jumping man going on back there. He's fine, he's doing his thing. I see him right there. I also see this guy right there. And apparently, sneak attacks are worth bonus points. Alright. Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, that was bad. You, you could have stunned me. You could have stun locked me and I would have died. Alright, come on, little guy. You get going! You get going, though, bro! I love. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, that was stupid. That is something I'm noticing about those dwellers. Like, really, what, when you see them coming, they're not that bad. It's when you. Wait, I can destroy them. Zero consequence. Ha ha! <laughs> okay, so if I made this game, there'd be some kind of spirit that would, um, for every statue you destroyed, it would get, like, massively stronger or more aggressive or something. That's a personal me thing, but let it, let it be noted. Because, uh, what, what, what game was that? Oh, uh, I, oh, oh. I think it was Spooky House of Jump Scares. It was like, yeah, it was my first one-off. Oh, crap. I didn't even realize there's a dude over there. I didn't realize there's a dude over there. He's not showing. He's not popping up on the sensors. He's not popping up on the sensors. Right. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal. I know that didn't, that wasn't that much, but see, that guy is too strong for me to take that risk. So, um, in Spooky's House of Jump Scares, it was this, um... Okay. That. Well, I know that thing's gonna be life, so. Ah, I have my own spit. There you go. It was this little, um, weird little indie horror game that was like, it was super cutesy, but it was all at the same time really creepy. It was a little horror game. Oh, something saw me. I don't know what, but something saw me. Oh, crap. Oh! That's what saw me. Alright, that's it. You're dead. Uh, I don't know how to get up there. That looks like something's gonna happen if I go over there, so I'm just gonna go this way. And I see you. And I'm like, hello. So oh, can I sneak? Can I sneak? Oh, heck yeah! I didn't do as much as that, so I'm gonna... Alright. You, you can just sit there and do that all you want. But it was this weird little horror game, and amidst the horror game, you get an act. Uh, okay, so it's one of those games that you can't really do anything but run. And um, it played that very well, and the game was full of cheap jump scares, as was the joke. It was called Spooky's House of Jump Scares. I think the name actually had to change because like, of a legal copyright something. I don't know, I learned about like way after the fact, like when I was like way done with playing it. I discovered that was just like, a something it went through, and I was like, oh wow. Oh, there. But, um, the point I was getting at was, eventually you get an axe. Like, a literal axe. And, um, it was originally used to, like, oh, I, did, I actually didn't target you. That was completely on accident. So, uh, there you go. Have fun at that party. So you get an axe, and the idea was there are different doors that you could, like, um, you had to like chop down boards over them to get through, which in the big scheme of like 
Uh, I think that red thing is that dude right there. Which in terms of like gameplay concepts, is it like you know the the most high def uh, like the most highbrow thing ever? It's like oh, okay, you want me to do that? That's fine. Oh, I miss. Nah, I'm gonna keep doing this, man. I don't care. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow, you're weaker when you're on that downswing. I I'll remember that. Uh, that's definitely a trap over there. Burp, I'm going for it. There you go, have fun with that. Got some arrows out of the deal. Oh, there's a skelly man. Hello, skelly man. Alright. Alright, so, as I'm like simultaneously focused on trying to kill this thing as well. Alright. I love that trick, it's so nice. Just just that it builds. Oh, oh. Oh. And then I'll switch, do a heavy, and he goes down. But um, they gave you an axe. And the idea of it was you would chop down. Screw you! What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? Oh. What are you gonna do? Oh! You launch yourself at me, okay. Great! Oh. I missed. Alright. Alright. But, um, that. Sorry, I'm like really focused because this this guy jumps around a lot. Little capo, little capo son of a gun. Yeah, I think you're so great. Oh, oh, you can dodge my crap. You think you're all that? Capo cutter, heck yeah. But um, well, I got a lot of good stuff from him actually. But so you get this axe and you cut down boards, as I said for the fifth time. But the cool thing was, you weren't limited to cutting boards. You can cut wherever you want, and like the first thing you got, when the first enemy you saw when you got the axe, were these things that looked like cute deer from a distance. But when you got close, like their jaws opened up way too far, and like that big pointy teeth thing tried to kill you. And you could, oh, All right. crap, I missed. And you could, you know, hit it with an axe, and they would die. But what the game didn't tell you was that it actually had like a hidden um. I think they called it an insanity meter. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. There we go. And I healed a little bit. Not sure why. Uh, yeah, that's all clear. But the game had like a hidden sanity meter or. Whoa, I didn't even see that treasure. But more importantly, I didn't see that Kodomo, which I want. Which I want more than anything. No, give me the Kodomo, give me the Kodomo. Give me the safety. Wait, all those missions, Kodama spirits! Oh heck yeah, thank you god! Alright, now I can... Now I can just run without worry. I think I have like a very small life steal. Yeah, what's going on? That's weird. Oh wait, is this what I think it is? Shade eyes. Oh heck yeah! I think that opens all the doors. Awesome. I have done good things. But um, it had a hidden insanity meter. So essentially, the more you um, yep. So now I can open the doors. Oh heck yeah! So essentially, the more you um, the more you hit things with your axe. Okay, I I, 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 have, I have to look at that. I have to look at that. Sorry. Hang on. Status. Uh, is it my is it my spirit? Oops, I dropped my I dropped my counter. Is it my spirit? Here it is. I don't know how to look at my spirit. I'll look at it later. I think it's actually my spirit. What? Oh, I. Yeah. Good thing I predicted that because I saw two things on the mini map. Oh, crap. Crap, okay, all good. Yeah, every time I gain money, I get a little bit of health, which is like the coolest, I love it. 
Alright, something suspicious about this, so I'm gonna open it. Okay, sweet. Something suspicious about this. Sweet! <laughs> Nothing wrong! And, um, the game's ending changed. Spooky has jump scares, since I jump subjects. The game's ending changed depending on how much insanity or, like, malice or... There was some name that I looked up, and it was actually like, no, there is a hidden meter, and essentially, um... Okay, so the other way the game would have these cheap jump scares, and it, they, were, they were meant to be cheap. Like, that's not me bashing the game, that was the charm of the game. It's why I liked it, it was... It was fun in its own self-acknowledgement of, like, what horror games were. Oh, there's definitely gonna be, like, two statues over there, so I'm just gonna preemptively do this. Yep. Get wrecked. I'm gonna let you swing. And hurt. Do that crazy damage. And then open this up. I'm waiting for the mimic. I'm waiting for the mimic. It will come, and when it comes, I will freak out and then get mad. As I always do. Thought I saw eyes on that wall. Um, I think we're going back in circles, which is good. Okay. This is good. So, um... I'm expecting to see more of those, um, wall monsters and Ikamas or whatever they're called. So, it would change the ending. And, like, if you... Okay, so the other thing, as I was mentioning before, is there's like, these cardboard cutouts of, that would just go, like, frick! Or, like, if it would, like, be along the wall like this and just go frick! Out at you. And it would make a big scary noise, and some of them were cute, and some of them were cute shapes but with scary faces on them. Like, actually very well-drawn, scary faces. And it was all very well done, and I really enjoyed it. Once again, I'm suspecting the walls. Oh! And once again, an area with multiple chests. It's a trap. This has got to be a trap. This has got to be a trap. Whoa! Oh, you giggled. Oh, whoa! Uh, bow right back. Overjoyed. Cool! That's a thing. I'm happy, I'm not... I, I just, I just made a guess, and I happen to be right. Sweet. Oh crap! Forgot about that. All good. And it was like interesting that. Oh, okay, so as I was saying, those cardboard cutouts, you could hit them with your axe. Like most of the monsters, you could not hit with your axe. They would like, they would overpower you and kill you or whatever. Like, or like the axe would do like no damage. And it was kind of like an all right. So some things I can use an axe on, some things I can't. Got it. You no. Know? Message received. And then there are other things that are like small that you can hit with your axe, and it was like, oh, okay, sweet, I killed it. But it was like, um, for every cardboard cutout you hit with your axe, because you know, you're scared, so you hit click, which is your one thing you can do, and it hits something with an axe. It would add like one, and for every animal, like those deer I mentioned you killed, you get like five. And the idea was that once it added up, Oh, that's right, I can go back down here. Once I added up to like 25, you were immediately were gonna get the, well, not immediately, you are destined to get the bad ending. And it wouldn't matter what you did. Like, you could have, oh. Oh, crap. Oh, that archer, okay, I was gonna say like, what's targeting me, I don't get it. Gotcha, in the bag. Oh, there's a shrine, I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh, I thought it was a trap, okay, sweet. All right, so now, do the downswing. Doink. Ah, oh, didn't work this time. Doink. Okay. Do the downswing. Oh, too close. Oh. Ooh. Do the downswing. Oh. There. Oh, I, should, I should really call it the upswing instead, not the downswing. He was enraged because he wanted to watch over the land forever. 
Am I, am I understanding that right? It's weird. It's interesting. It's weird. Uh, let's go this way. Probably something cool down here, right? That's totally a wall mimic. Check, just, I'm, I'm calling it now. What, seriously? I'm impressed. What, uh, remove talisman. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh crap. Oh, it's a wall mimic from behind. Oh, that must be like hitting its critical spot. Uh, cool. Oh crap, crap. That's a dude. Ah, come on. Do your, do your down and up swing. You just destroyed your brothers. Do your down and then up and then blah, 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 blah. And then I back up. And then blah, 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 blah. Gotcha. So that just created a nice little shortcut from that shrine, which is pretty cool. Except that did me like no good, but man, yeah. Hey, I, I'll take it. Shortcuts are fun. Uh, 30 and 18. I don't know what that means. So I was like, all right. Oh, and I get a hot spring! Aw, oh, heck yeah, hot spring. I just sat on the weird little red baby. I don't trust you, weird little red baby. I think you're pure evil. That's just me personally, but I personally think you're pure evil. And it was cool to have, like, um... The entire point of this entire ramble was that I thought it was a very cool concept for a game. Let's talk to her on the next episode. My final point was that um, I thought it was a very cool concept for a game to punish you. Oh, hey, also, side note, guess what I learned? See, hit the touchpad, right? And then you hit. You can actually pause the game. I didn't, I didn't know you can do that. I learned that like 10 minutes ago, or 10 minutes before the episode. Because I was like going through my stuff and I just hit it on accident. I was like, <laughs> but um, I like the idea of a game punishing you for um, for breaking things that seem inconsequential. Like, what if there was an enemy in Legend of Zelda, that, or like a boss that kept track of every pot you ever broke, and like there are certain ranges of like how strong it would be. So that way, like, and it could be like a one-time thing. It could be like. You know, halfway through the game, you beat this one boss that does that, and it's like, oh crap! So that way, you like rethink your actions, or like, um, what is it? In Metal Gear Solid 2, I didn't know this, but I learned about it. In the game, you can shoot these um these seagulls, and if you shoot enough of them, the game like um Rose divorces you, and Colonel yells at you, and the and the game just fails. Just says game over. I, just things like that. I think they're really fun and cute. And I would have loved it personally if the boss in this area, if um, for every statue that broke, whether it was by you or by someone else, it would get stronger or it have some kind of effect. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool. But um, I don't think she. I don't think she, the girl there. Yeah, cute. I don't think she's the boss. But I have a feeling a boss is coming up. So, because that's a shrine right there. So we're going to do that on the next episode. So thanks for watching, everyone. Leave a like, comment below. And I'll see you then. Give a second, baby. I found you. Yeah, you did. What are you going to do about it? I'm an ultimate dark lord of evil. I can summon crap at the drop of a hat. You know, shabam, and I'm like, what is? What? Max, what are you doing? Uh,